Hey, Bluegrass, can we go thrift shopping? Oh, STP. Hello, YouTube world. I just wanted to go over uh, my first garage sale of the season. I came back, I was playing tennis with my buddy, and um, I was coming back the back streets, and I saw a garage sale sign. Went one more street over, came back around, looped back. Um, and it was the same street that they always have garage sales on. It's one of those, and then you go down there, it's the same, it's a woman that has garage sales all the time. And I know her, she never remembers me. You know what I mean? So I know she's a reseller and this is her way of, this is her only outlet of way of doing it. She just runs garage sales all year long. I'm sure you all seen <clears throat> the same kind of thing. But, uh, so anyway, you know, I didn't really, I had 10 bucks in my pocket, honestly. I just had 10 bucks cash. That's all I had. I knew sometimes that's good because that means you kind of have more leverage even. You're like, I just have this, you know? And, um, uh, so I walk up and she had a, her, kind of her normal stuff, some toys and stuff I just don't want. And, but I do remember her, she, she'd have a lot of, she'd buy tennis stuff, you know, and, and some sports stuff. It's almost like she was trying to buy a little bit of everything to pe get people interested, right? And she didn't have a ton of stuff, but it was enough, you know, it wasn't a huge garage sale. But she had these two Bablot tennis rackets. <clears throat> if, if you know tennis, uh, Bablot. I don't know how you say it, Babolat is one of the better brands. It's the one that Rafael Nadal uses, and it's also it's just a good brand. And um, they're harder to find. And so I looked at them, and when I pulled them out, <coughs> I saw it was a head, which is not a Babolat. So they're a mix match, but the rack's good. And I like heads. This isn't a really great head. But it's got a nice color to it. It's a titanium. So it'll sell. Uh, and she told me, she goes, oh, well, those are um, six bucks a piece. And I'm like, most garage sales, people are selling stuff cheap. I'm like, six bucks a piece? That's kind of high for around here. And I couldn't help but notice of the Goodwill stickers on them. And knew she had bought these at the Goodwill, right? <clears throat> and then... Went and looked at some more stuff, and I came back to it, and she goes, yeah, yeah, six bucks, because my son, you know, he paid a lot of money for those, and, you know, he played for years, and so, you know, he just kind of didn't want them anymore, and I'm like, right, right, right. I didn't say anything, I just let her talk, you know, I saw both of them were from the Goodwill. It wasn't just one. She's telling me her son was a golf or a tennis player and he paid so much money for these huh another but it's a good wrap and it's a head titanium it's actually baked i think it's the same same style so it is good um, but for six bucks yeah and uh i go and i in the but the, it has another bad lot um, so the the cases almost make them it's almost worth six bucks a piece, really. And but here, there's a name on there, Donaldson. And I and I go, well, I gotta take the. I go, I, I don't may not be able to get that off. She goes, well, do you know that you can use, you can get that off with rubbing alcohol? I go, yeah, just like the Goodwill stickers on there. And she, she, I go, you take ten. She goes, yeah. She took the ten. And uh, I didn't run the collar out, but I waited for her to say something like that to try to make me feel stupid. And then I just like, yeah, take off those Goodwill stickers on them, you know. And I didn't, I didn't press any harder. I, I probably could have got them from you cheaper, but it was a good example to be be aware of what you're doing and what your leverage is, and don't let someone use leverage on you that they're not. You know what I mean? So happy garage sailing! It's coming. Yeah, grind on, friends. Goodbye from Bluegrass Pickers. Stay tuned.